Tumor resection will be illustrated in a patient with a T3 glottic cancer. The tumor is visible on the right vocal fold and it shows subglottic extension. Tumor resection includes one hemilarynx with inclusion of the vocal fold. During hemilaryngectomy, the ariepiglottic fold can be preserved without influence on the extent of the tumor resection. Preservation of the ariepiglottic fold will improve the sphincteric and respiratory function after larynx reconstruction. After neck dissection, the larynx is incised anteriorly with inclusion of one centimeter of the contralateral side. The cartilage cut is made with an oscillating saw. The cricotracheal ligament is incised at the tumor side and the intubation tube is placed in this incision. At the upper side, the thyroepiglottic ligament is incised. The epiglottic petiole is sectioned and the larynx is opened superiorly. At this stage, the ariepiglottic fold will be preserved with incision posteriorly between the aritenoid and the corniculate cartilage. By doing so, the upper margin of the ariepiglottic fold is preserved without danger of an incomplete tumor resection. Now the anterior incision can be placed under direct vision of the tumor. The anterior commissure is included in the resection and the anterior incision is placed through the vocal folds at the left side. The posterior incision is placed in the midline. The tumor extension can be seen on the resection specimen. The subglottic tumor extension can be evaluated. The aritenoid cartilage is included in the resection as well as one centimeter of the contralateral vocal fold. <laughs>